What's going on and welcome back. Please take a moment, like, share, and subscribe. If you want to stay up to date on the latest videos, please hit that bell button. Now, without further ado, here is the one watch that turned my hobby into a passion. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Illinois 16 size 23 jewel bun special 163 type 2e and the e friends is for ellen bar now this watch is a wonderful example of the rarity of what the 2e is now this 2e is in my shop today and it's going to be worked on and uh it had a, has a broken balance staff and we're going to go ahead and replace that and you can see in the previous video of me polishing that uh, pallet balance staff and getting it ready to be put in here but right now let me just review with you what what makes this model so great now it does have the very nice sign dial bun special 23 joule 60 hour right here um, very nice clean dial don't worry this is not a scratch on the dial it is part of the crystal and that will be replaced with this service um, it is in the bun special model 108 case now you can find that information right here now this has everything to do with the case and nothing to do with the watch but it is a bun special model 108 case now here is the special watch i mean rare watch i mean some people aren't going to like the word rare but i'm going to say it's rare because you hardly see them now, this is just like every other Bun Special 163 you may see, except with two key features on this. You're going to see Elinvar right here on the balance, signed. And then you're also going to see the 23 Jewel right up here on the train bridge. Now, Outside of the beauty of the mechanical engineering and the thought and the design and just how precise these machines are, one of the great rabbit holes to dive down into is the technology behind all of these American watches. Because believe it or not, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, American pocket watches were hands down the best in the world. Yes, I said world, better than Swiss, better than France. I mean, just better than any of them. Um, and one of the amazing technologies behind this watch, and one of the things I love about it, is that you have two great companies in this watch. You have Illinois, obviously, but you also have Hamilton. Hamilton bought out... Illinois and you can tell that this is not an Illinois company watch because it just says Illinois watch Springfield if this was an Illinois owned company it would say Illinois watch co so this is 1931 after Hamilton had purchased Illinois now the great thing about this watch that I love so much is it has the raid pattern, which was an Illinois design. But it also has Hamilton written all over it. 163 was Hamilton's distingu uh, designation on this, meaning 16 size, 23 jewel. And this is also Hamilton's Ellen Bar. Now with progressions with trains and needing to be on time, Ellenvar was referred to as the hair the hairspring that's on here, the steel they use, and the wheel. Now the wheel is different because it's made up of one complete circle. Before you used to have little gashes right here and directly on the other side, and that would adjust for temperature. If it gets hot, it expands. If it cools, it contracts, and then that way it can adjust for that. Well, with the invention of diesel engines, you have a high field of magnetism. 
And what this Elinvar hairspring and wheel does is it will not allow this to get magnetized. So if a watch gets magnetized, it will usually run fast. If it runs fast and you're not on time, that's usually when you can get a train wreck. So these were made to be precise instruments to do your job correctly so people do not die. Okay. Now, the great thing, 50, 60, 70 years later, is that now you start finding rarities and unique features. And unique features are written all over this. Now, of the ray pattern and of the 23 Jewel 163s, if you take all the different types, you have about 6,200 different watches out on the market. Now, with the Type 2E, what you find is a little gem. And the gem is that with the 23 Jewel written right here on the train bridge and not down here over this wheel and the Allen Var right here, what you find is they only made about 320 of these. So it's kind of a diamond in the rough. And that's what makes it so different. On top of all the improvements that Hamilton did to really improve this very good watch, if not my favorite watch, what I think is one of the better watches, and I get it. I don't have very many subscribers. But when I do, I can see the comments coming. No, Sangamo Special is way better. The pivots are polished. The jewels are capped better. Everything is, I get it. I get it. Sangamo Special is an amazing watch. I have a buddy that would be like, you are out of your mind. And yes, I may be, but to me, this is one of my favorite watches. And the design, the makeup, everything, it just works for me. Um, now, in terms of rarity, the Elinvar in the 163 series and not the 163A, there is only roughly about 370 ever made with the Elinvar right here on the bottom of the balance. Typically, you will find the 163As underneath the balance wheel right here or on the train bridge right here. And we can definitely do a uh, review about those if you'd like to see one. Throw it in the comments. We can go from there. Um, now, the rarity of this also brings money. And I'm not going to really talk numbers because if you're watching it today, the numbers may go up or down if you watch this video two, three, four years from now. Um, but these are worth substantially more, like thousands of dollars more than a regular 163. Now, then you have other rarities in here like the Type 2 and 1R, the Type 1. I mean, they all have different values. Um, but this in the 163 line is the second rarest of all the 163 with the ray pattern on the movement. Um, now what we're going to be doing in the next video, the upcoming video is why does this not work? Well, here is the balance and it wiggles. It should not be going up and down. It has a broken balance staff. And what we're going to be doing is replacing that and doing a full COA on this clean oil assemble. Um, we're going to be going ahead and I'm going to be videotaping the whole thing. So once again, please, if you like these videos, like it, share it, subscribe, turn on the notification button because when I drop the next video, you'll be able to see it right away. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have a good day.